Welcome back, survivors, to another episode of Seven Days to Die, a classic Nomad Survival mod. Excellent job, um, Siri is doing with this mod here. Now, I just want to clear something up. When we went in that hold host the last episode, uh, people mentioned that they saw stuff in the fire pit. What you guys saw was this here. You saw an exact replica. Um, I actually even went and checked the, uh, the save. I loaded up the save, um... I duplicated the save, loaded up the save in creative, and went over and checked it out. Because I, I don't like messing with the time and stuff on my survival saves. Uh, but I went and checked it out, and you actually cannot move the items over. So there's definitely a visual glitch there. Because there's a jar of honey, 63 goldenrod flowers, and uh, 10 mums. It's actually impossible, I think, to load these in and have them actually have loot in them. Uh, but holy crap, we got some eats to do. So I'm going to grab these eggs here, and we are going to head out. And just kind of generally get some stuff done here. I need to go back to the trader as well and uh, use these feathers because we can actually make ourselves now uh, some arrows. And we have a compound bow, so we're looking pretty damn good. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to do. We can just hop right into the action and get uh, going. Oh yes, I have to drop this sucker off right here now. Uh, there was a little U house here around here somewhere. I'm not sure where it was, but when I searched it on my last playthrough, it actually ended up having a uh, fully functional workbench in it. There it is. I think it's right there looking straight down the road. We're going to go check that house out, clear it, and see if it has a workbench again because it is a custom made POI. I don't know if that's a random spawn location or if that's a guaranteed workbench spawn in. So we're going to go check that out. It's just up the road up here. Okay, so as it turns out, I don't think this is actually the house we were looking for. No. Uh, but it is made with the same blue blocks. I totally forget where this was, and that's unfortunate because this is not that big of a city here. Uh, now, I haven't been gangbanged by zombies yet, which is also a little bit odd. Uh, so we're going to run back this way. You know what? I think that the house is actually in the same area as my base. All right. We'll see you guys in a second here again. Okay. So as it turns out, I'm not finding this place at all. I was pretty damn sure that I seen one of those homes in here. I don't know if you guys know the exact home I'm looking for, but uh, more than likely I'll end up coming across it again. Oh, look at this. They broke in. Oh, sick. You know what? We can actually go in and uh, loot this place. This is, um, these here actually have a decent amount of loot. They have a box you can get, and they have a bookcase. Oh, look, there's a fridge in there, too. How many of these guys are there? Okay, so there seems to be one in the corner as well. I'm going to go ahead and let these guys uh, break through the door, and then we're going to shoot them and go and check that loot. Well, let's take care of this little lady first. Oh, shoot. That's a waste of an arrow. That was also a waste of an arrow. I really don't like this compound bow. I don't know why, but I, I just... I can't fire with it. It's too big. It's too awkward. It kind of feels like they just stuck it in to keep people happy. Be like, here's a compound bow. It doesn't really feel like it serves uh, much of a purpose to me. There we go. Shit. Okay, so that little green thing there should be the middle, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see what my major malfunction is here. Okay, there we go. Green. Ah, oh, that was clearly missed. Their head moved. There we go. Okay, maybe my aim just sucks with this thing. That's probably exactly what it is, actually. Okay, got some food. Got not. Oh, shit! She woke up! That <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Ooh, ouch. There you go. Give me that arrow back. Thank you very much. And one more to the head. Beautiful. You better have some food for me. Nope, but she has a garden hoe, uh, which is actually completely useless in this mod because you cannot farm, so I'll sell that sucker to the trader. Uh, what do we got in the fridge here? Wow, did we get button hooked? I think we got button hooked here, guys. Let's open up this sucker and see what we get. Uh, we got shit. We got a commercial toilet and a couple of bottle murky water. Wow, that was totally... Oh, look at this. I can get one of my arrows back from missing. I did, oh, you know what? I totally forgot that the arrows, if you miss with them, uh, they actually land into things so you can go back and pick them up. That is so cool. All right, so we searched this place here. Uh, what do we got going on over here? Some zombies out in the field. Uh, these actually don't have that too much in them, but they do tend to spawn dogs. That one right there especially. Especially? <laughs> uh, that one right there really spawns in the dogs, so I don't, uh, don't want to spawn any of those guys. These small ones here... Um, I don't really think they do that. Oh, well, let's go and check this one here and see what it has for us. It has a whole bunch of hay bales, which is really useful. We'll grab those up 
Any spawns? We got one spawn here, one spawn in the corner. I totally think we can take care of these suckers. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. See, that's what you're supposed to do with the arrows, Skippy. Here we go. Not that. Do some of that. And do some of that. Beautiful. And what's up, businessman? Okay, let's go get that one arrow that was back here. Nice. I like how they stick to the buildings like that. That's actually really, really cool. I was kind of pumped, too. I thought we had one of those homes in uh, the city. And I was like, sweet, we have a workbench. We have everything else, so we found a forge. We have everything else we need to go. So I'm pretty dang happy with that. All right, I'm going to open this up, turn on this flashlight, and uh, pick up these hay bales. Uh, I don't think there's any more zombies in here, so we should be fine. Uh, what I'm going to do here, too... Uh, take advantage of all this. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and then on the way down. I'm gonna grab the ladders I really like how you can pick up ladders in this mod. It's uh, it's pretty cool You should be able to pick up a ladder and um, or maybe like pieces of ladder. We can call that a, a folding ladder I guess. Oh, we have one more showing up to the party. What's up Psalms? You son of a bitch. You made me miss but That is okay because I can go get that arrow again. Oh, that is so neat. I'm completely dorking out over that All right, here we go Let's go up to the second level, and hopefully she puts out for us here. And, whoa, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> Always check behind you before you start looting. I learned that lesson the hard way. Oh, crap, are those just seeds? Yeah, those seeds can go fuck themselves. All right, let's see what this one has for us. And another fucking toilet. This is turning out to be one shitty episode. There we go. Okay, so we're going to pick up the ladders on the way down. Can I pick them up while I'm still on them? Oh, I can. I just drop down one level. Neat. Okay, so those will help us get on top of buildings and stuff in a, in a hurry if we ever need to. Always searching birds' nests because they give you eggs and that's uh, that's food, so that's a good thing. Okay, so we got this checked off. We got that one over there checked off. A little small garage. We did the passing gas. Uh, did we do this place right here? Let's check over here. I'm, I'm pretty sure we already got this, but uh, you never know. Always checking for them zombies. All right, what do we got in here? No, we definitely did not. Oh, we did loot this. We came in the side. Okay, that's okay. Um, sometimes I just don't know when I came in and when I didn't. Okay, uh, so let's check this little crappy blue house over here. I think we're good to go on this one. Yep, we already got in here, and I do believe we even got to the empty person there. Okay, awesome. Damn. We're, we've looted a lot of this town already. Um, hope, hopefully, we can actually survive in this town for a little while because it does have a forge. And a <gasps> there it is. There's that house I was talking. No, don't want to do that. I don't want to waste those arrows. That's that house I was talking about, guys. I thought it was blue. That is my bad. It is definitely not blue. It is gray and it is brown. Wow, was I ever way off on that one. Okay, let's go check this one out. Oh, nice. It's broken open, too. Okay, hopefully we don't have to fight off a lot of zombies. Front door is broken open, which means uh, they may have already broken their way out. Okay, so there's a little green dot. Ah, shit! I'm all trying to be accurate. And I got this little girl bang or ganging up on me. Holy crap. Sorry, guys. Once again, I don't mean to yell, but it does happen every once in a while. Uh, just, just feel happy that when you do hear those yells, they're 100% genuine yell. <laughs> you got no fake yells from me. All right, so we got that. This door is locked. It can go fuck itself. I can't get in there. Ooh, we got the kitchen. Always oh, search the kitchen. We got a lot of shit to bring back to the trader here, too. Okay, I'm going to loot all these cupboards and stuff. This is going to be kind of boring. Oh, nice. Look what I found here, guys. I found myself a cooking grill, finally. Uh, these shoes will sell. We'll get rid of that moldy bread. Grab that pot. Awesome. Yes. Nice. I don't have a, a grill. I mean, there's not really too much you can make with it, but it's just always nice to have one. Uh, I guess I'm going to start scrapping some stuff in my queue here. My inventory is getting quite full of stuff um, I can sell to the trader. Here we go. We'll get rid of that. This will sell the trader, all this paper, the rotting flesh can go fuck itself too. Uh, glue is very valuable, so I'm going to hold on to that. Alright, we're going to scrap that medical bracelet, because that's where you always leave your medical bracelets, is in your food cupboards. Um, I'm hearing a lot of smacking around going on outside, so I do think we have some attention close by. Uh, but I'm going to choose to ignore that for now, and get some looting done. Oh, there's a fucking dog! There's a dog out there, guys! I don't know if you can hear it. But there is a dog outside. Holy crap. Okay, I don't want to fuck with a dog. <laughs> uh, it's just... Uh, you know what? Since we do have a dog outside... 
I used up my last arrows. I almost left myself, like, almost open with no arrows in my, uh, my bow. That's never, never a good thing to do. Okay, if I can... Oh, I was just about to say, guys, if I can get a wrench, that would be flipping amazing. And I got a wrench. Sick. So we can go to the traders now, break a bunch of stuff down, and uh, sell it to the trader. Oh, nice. Uh, these clothes sell pretty decently. Like, this will sell for 35 uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I guess get rid of these fibers. These bullet casings will sell because they sell in stacks of five with each other. Uh, here we go. I do not want to get rid of anything that's food either. Like that will sell for 66. I guess two wood can be sacrificed. I always sacrifice the wood. Oh, you know why we came up here? Ooh, there's another gun too. Holy shit. I just, I have too much stuff now. Um, was because there is a ceiling in here uh, that has a workbench in it. Hopefully. Oh, there's another. Okay. Brass, you can go fuck yourself. Dang. Okay, so let's open this door. Um, I do think that the ladder is in this room, which it absolutely is. Right here. Here it is. Okay, we're, we're gonna scrap this thing here so I just have one extra slot. Put the ladder up here. Holy crap, that's one mad biker. Oh, it's unlocked. Nice. Oh, there is a workbench up here, too. Sick. Okay, so I do have a workbench. Uh, we are going to mark this here. Save waypoint. It uh, doesn't really matter what it is. And we're going to write uh, workbench. Workbench on it. Awesome. Now, I need to get the hell out of this place. And we need to get over the trader. Because we have some dogs on our ass, and I don't feel like dealing with them. Uh, but we have a whole bunch of loot in here that we can come back to, which is pretty damn... Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Holy crap. How does that even happen? I wish you could shoot through those doors. That would be so much better. Okay, you know what? Fuck you, dog. I'm just dealing with you. Fucking hate dogs. Where'd you even come from? You're all by yourself. Oh, nice. I can get some more money. <laughs> Did you see them dark out there when I took the arrows? That was cool. Look at this, I'm even gonna go back and get my floating arrow. Oh crap, another dog! Holy shit, what are you doing to me here, Sphiri? Holy, okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. I do not want to deal with that at all. He can go into that house and fuck shit up, as far as I'm concerned. Oh no, he's still hot on my ass. If he, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're good, cool. He just came back outside to see what, what. Thought I heard another dog. Okay, we're good. I just have to remember the dog's over by the workbench now. Whew, that made me sweat. Okay, so we're going to go towards the castle here. Uh, we're going to go over this way. And I'll see you guys over at the trader. We'll see what we can sell. Do I still have my coins? I still have my coins. Awesome. All right, here we go. So we made it to the uh, trader pretty safely. Uh, I'm also curious to see if that house right there still has the feral kicking around in it. Because there is um, a glowing feral, too. A radiated one. Uh, pretty bad ass. All right, let's close the door here. Awesome. All right, trader Bob. What do you have for me? i sell that. I'm going to sell that. Okay, I can just sell all this shit. Then we'll review what I'm left with. All right, so that brought us up to 3,017 coins. Um, I don't know what I want first. I think weapon is more important first. Like, it'd be really nice to have that machete at this point in time. Uh, now, I know parts and stuff do sell pretty well to the trader. So, we're going to take this wrench. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, well, you're welcome, kind sir. And we're going to take this wrench and go over this building right here. Because this one has a whole bunch of electronic stuff in it. Uh, that we can tear apart. Which is actually pretty sick. Because normally... Um, you can't touch any of this stuff. So let's go ahead. Like these chairs here, well, they'll give us mechanical parts. There's definitely a uh, bus. Oh, mechanical parts and some other stuff. I hear some zombies. Well, apparently I did not come up here and search all this stuff last time. Major fail on that one. Here we go. We'll start breaking this one down here. Oh, God, this is going to take forever. There we go. Some electronic parts and whatnot. Um, I'm going to break down some of this stuff here. It might take a few minutes. Uh, and then we'll see what we have once I finish it. Okay, guys, it's just too slow. I don't have the patience for it, and it's breaking down quite quickly. Um, I'm kind of thinking using this wrench might be a little more productive if I use it on the car. Um, the car will probably actually put out quite a bit more. Ooh, air conditioners are a great source of parts and stuff. Like, look how slow that is. It is so painful. Okay, whatever. I'll grin and bear through this one here. This is worth it. 
All right, so I broke it down. Uh, we now have 12 electrical parts, which will sell for 127. See, I told you, it's actually not bad if you can get a lot of these together. Uh, those will sell for 33. And what else did I get off here? Ah, yes, the six mechanical parts, which will sell for 63. Surprisingly, me uh, mechanical parts, they don't seem to sell as well as the electrical parts. Let's see what this is worth. 10 and 10. Oh, never mind. I was completely wrong. They both sell for the exact same amount. Uh, that's okay, though. Uh, it does sound like we have a few friends nearby. Where are they at? I don't even know. Let's go back down and I'm gonna dump this stuff off at the trader and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna head out again. I guess uh, I was a little too excited about the wrench. It's not as good as I thought it would be. Whoa! Hello zombies. Okay, you can uh, bang on that door. Am I even hunted? Yep, I'm definitely hunted. Uh, here we go. Bang. I'll protect you trader Bob. Alright, so I think I pretty much sold everything I can afford to sell here. Uh, how much does this wrench sell? <laughs> Yeah, not even worth it. I'm going to take it over my uh, my tool belt and put it up there. Uh, so we have a potato and 3,375 coins. We don't have a freaking hope of getting that um, uh, machete here before the next reset. Yeah, it's going to um, reset day four. So tonight it's going to reset. Uh, but that's okay. We'll come back and take another look at it. Damn, forged iron. Oh, that would be nice to have, but I'm not going to spend the money on it. It's not worth it quite at this moment. Um, ammo weapons. Where is the tools again? Ah, here we go down at the end. Ah, gunpowder and iron garden hole. Look how much, look how much he sells it to me for, and he bought it for what? 26? Come on. They really got to fix this trader balance, I think. Um, I kind of dicked around with it a little bit, but I mean, it, it needs a major overhaul. Look, look how much this wrench sells for. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, does he have, actually while we're thinking about it, mini bikes? Oh, he doesn't have the mini bike book. Okay, dude, I will see you back tomorrow. Um, oh shoot, there's cars right there too. Damn. Okay. Uh, what should I do here? We can destroy workbench. Okay, I'm going to actually take that wrench out and take a few smacks of this car here just to see what I can get from it. Oh, some gas! Yes! Let's get the gas so we can make some Molotovs. See, like, look how many more supplies you get from using the wrench on a car. I should have just done this in the first place. Alright, so I've broken down the car here almost all the way. We only have a few wrenches left. Uh, but I did get a decent amount of gas out of it. We do have gas cans or barrels, but I don't think we can actually make the gas cans yet. We didn't find the book. Uh, so this will be very useful, especially for Horde Knights. So, mental reminder, uh, try to make some... Oh, shit. Not some shit. Try, try to make some Molotovs for Horde Knight. What is your major malfunction, you freaking meth head? Come here. Oh, my God. Meth heads waste arrows. That's what's going on. Give me that arrow back. Yeah, that's mine. That son of a bitch. No, you are doing it the wrong way. There we go. Beautiful. God damn, hitting them in the head is so hard. Okay. Uh, is there any arrows kicking around over here? I missed a whole bunch, so... I don't know where they went. Okay, we missed them. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sell off... What the fuck are you doing? Um, I'm going to sell off what I got from here to the trader. Uh, we did actually end up getting a, a lead battery, so we're going to sell that. 174 coinage for that sucker. And all these parts, mechanical parts. Oh, it's, it takes so long uh, to get anything from the trader. I don't know what I sold to the trader last time to get so much money. Uh, but I was able to buy in the first few days a sledgehammer from the trader. Uh, so we were wandering around last playthrough with a freaking sledgehammer. Holy crap, what have you guys done? Look at the mess you've made. Clean up your mess, god damn it. Okay, uh, now I said we wanted to check this place here too to see if the, uh, the ferals in here. Uh, so let's give this place a quick check. Seems pretty quiet. Oh shit, he's definitely still here. He's definitely still here. There he is. Wow, he uh, looks like he's going to be camping this place. Like, look at him over there glowing all by himself. Okay, we're going to run in here too. Um, I want to actually show you guys uh, the campfire here. And I'm also curious myself as to if those last three slots are still showing. Oh, they are. Can I move them over? I can. Oh, wow. Okay, when I put it on the uh, copy the save and then um, like move the other saves so I can only load one of them. Uh, I couldn't move them over, but wow, look at that. I can. That's definitely a duplication thing, which um, I am definitely not down with. 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and destroy those. Yeah, I'll make sure uh, Sphiri knows. I actually mentioned, uh, mentioned it to him tonight on Discord. At least we know know about the bug. I won't abuse it, though. Uh, it kind of takes the fun out of the game, the challenge, right? Okay. Oh, I thought I saw the feral out. I was going to say, damn. All right, so since that area is all fucked up, what else can we search here? Did we get in this house over here, guys? I can't actually remember off the top of my head. May as well keep searching. That's what this, uh, that's what this mod is all about. Moving and searching. Moving and searching. Okay, so we're going to try to smash our way into here. It looks like zombies have smashed it a bit. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, look at all this uh, all this wood just sitting here all by itself. I'm going to punch these bushes out, too. Nice. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put a hay bale down. I'm going to do the crouch thing. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go. Nice. I can shoot her at, at her from the window, kind of trap these guys in. Oh, yes. This is the house I jumped into, and then I panicked and jumped out uh, because I got cornered in here. Yes, yes. Okay, so I, I don't believe we've actually properly searched this place. Give me that arrow back, bitch. Uh, what about you? Hey, my arrow. Hello. Hey, why isn't it green anymore? Weird. Oh, we got a couple coming this way. How many arrows do we have? 17? I can deal with that. Put one right under titty. Come here. God damn. Whoa! Holy shit, she's so big, I should not have a problem killing her at all. God damn. There we go. What? That's right in your fucking teeth. Wow, it went right through his head. That's actually cool looking. It's uh, too bad they don't stick to the, uh, the mesh rate. There we go. One head blown off. Arrow back. <laughs> Let's blow this guy's head off if I can. Come here, bud. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay. Whew. Skin of my teeth here. We gotta get rid of that big lady. She's she's gotta go. Whoa, what was that? Goggles? Aren't these 3D glasses? That's kind of funny. Uh, too bad you couldn't wear them. That would be uh, pretty fantastic. All right. So I'm looking for arrows. There's one right there. And uh, big lady, you need to uh, you need to come down here. There we go. I'm going to keep shooting with the same arrow until you make your way down here. Now, as far as I know, the only way to kill these things is by headshots. So I don't think those arrows are actually having any effect. Oh, crap. Look at them all up on the roof over there. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. I'm trying to kill this big lady. And I keep getting freaking flanked by these assholes. Collect my arrows. Oh, that looks so funny when you collect your arrows off of them like that. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Wow, I'm only still level three. Even the leveling is hard in this mod. I love it. Okay. So let's deal with this dumb bitch. I don't know where she is. Where'd you go off to? What do we got in this backpack here? Oh, parts. Sweet. We can sell those to the trader. Those sell really well. Did you go back here? Oh, shit. You have some more friends back here. Okay, let's get rid of these guys here. Oh, arrows. Fuck, let's not forget to grab those. I wonder how many arrows... Hey. I wonder how many arrows you can uh, fire and it still remembers them. We'll have to do a test of that sometime once I um, have the extra arrows to spend. I kind of need all my arrows right now. Oh, shit. I was going to try to sneak up on this guy, but apparently I don't know what the concept of being quiet is. Awesome. Beautiful. What do you have for me? Did both of those arrows disappear when I killed them? Yep, they definitely did. I have a couple down here. Oh, it's like it's um, it's got to do something with a block update, I think. There we go. Another one right there. We're down to eight arrows. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Why do you not have any legs now? What did... How did you even... How did you even lose your legs? Was it diabetes? I think she lost her legs to diabetes. That's what it was. There we go. The diabetes. There we go. I probably offended a few people there. Feel free to hit the dislike button. Oh, wait. That must be her. That has to be her. There's no way the other one lost her legs by herself just wandering around the house. Don't understand that. Holy shit. That was a lot of work to clear, clear this place, but at least we got shit going on now. And I love being able to search at night. This is so cool. <laughs> I have not played a um, walking playthrough since my first PS4 series, and I honestly don't care. Like, people were like, oh, you're playing walking? That's pussy. And it's like, dude, this it's all about enjoying the game, man. 
I play all different sorts of ways. You know what I mean? That's that's part of having fun. Okay, I'm gonna search these cupboards up. Probably nothing cool in them. Yep, there's definitely nothing cool in them. I just got some cans and shit, but that's okay. Uh, you can go away there, little big lady. Little big lady. <laughs> I'm being proper, that's all. Oh, these nightstands? Nice, these clothes sell so well the trader. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap that sucker. We'll scrap these matches. Those will break down in the paper. Um, there's a lot of stuff that scraps in the plastic too. Okay, awesome. I guess I can, uh, eat this, eat this bag. There we go. Nothing like eating a blood bag to give yourself health. I don't know why they ever did that. It is so weird. Um, that doesn't even make sense. Like, at all. I, I don't know. You can't eat human blood, right? That's not an actual thing. Pretty sure it's not. Oh, awesome. I wonder if this place has a... Oh, it does have an attic. I wonder what exciting things this attic holds for us. Uh, let's open this cupboard. Got some trophy. Holy crap, my inventory is damn full again. What can I get rid of here? Everything I pretty much need. Uh, I guess I can eat, like, all my food stuffs I might have on me. Oh, seeds. Those can go fuck themselves. Beautiful. What do we have in here? Oh, we have some bookshelves. Holy crap, this house actually has quite a bit of shit in it nice oh hunting knife i will take that i think we can make that in the workbench uh oh i wonder if i can buy oh i should have bought some iron now now i'm actually regretting that not buying that uh, forged iron from the trader that would have been extremely useful here we go uh paper is good to sell to the trader too i find oh crap no where'd you even come from Holy shit, I can't see! I can't see, I'm panicking! Never panic. Panicking's not good. Woo! Oh, you bitch, you almost got me too, and now I have an infection. That's okay, though. We have a, um, a few things kicking around we can get rid of the infection with here. Here we go. Alright, so, um, I guess I'm gonna, uh, plant this on the wall here so I can see a little bit. And then we will try to kill this friggin' zombie while I'm running around in circles trying to avoid her. Like a madman. Nice! Whew! That was close, guys. You have no idea. Well, you do. You just witnessed it. And I uh, guess, once again, I want to apologize if you're finding me extra talky in these episodes, but kind of doing this looting here and uh, having the constant threat of like zombies and stuff actually makes for great content. I can talk through most of the stuff. Okay, so this has to be broken open and this has to be broken open. Damn it, do I have anything that will break these suckers open here? Uh, how long will it take to get through these? You know what? I'm gonna just fucking do it. We have the time. I'm gonna go with my shovel and break these open and we'll see what these suckers give us. Oh, no! Okay, so I was taking a screenshot there and, um, I kind of went wonky with my shovel. Oh, sweet. Okay, I just picked up the torch. I destroyed it with my shovel. But I am so glad that I spent 20 minutes doing that. Look at that, two hidden stashes. That is hands down the best loot box you can find in seven days to die. What do we have? Oh, look at this. Look at this, we have some armor. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful, let's take that. I should have just wore it right out of the box, but I chose not to do that. And put those suckers on nice, and then I'll sell those suckers to the trader uh, because he's a sucker. Oh, military boots? Oh, cool. They're only level two and almost half dead, but you know what? It's armor and I will wear it. Here we go. We'll just take this challenge here. Um, it's too bad you couldn't actually sell those, but whatever. We'll go like this. I'm never going to accomplish that qu quest. Uh, it's like my craft a bedroll um, quest up in the corner. You know what? I'm actually going to do you guys a favor and uh, we are going to stop tracking that quest. There we go. It doesn't bother me, but I, I get why it would bother some people. It's just up there for no reason. Um, I'm not a big fan of big clunky um, UIs either, like uh, just a lot on your screen that you really don't need to know. There we go. I'm going to scrap that. Oh, we'll take this stuff here. This is so awesome. This house was sick to go and loot. And uh, how close are we to home? Uh, we're actually closer to the trader, so we're going to stop by the trader again. Uh, sell a few things, and it is day four, so the reset should have happened as well. Um, hopefully we can get something to bash the zombies' heads in a little better with. Alright, so we ended up, after I cleared out my inventory here a bit, I forgot the papers, uh, we ended up with a grand total, if I can find my freaking coins, 4,355 coins so far. God, it's such a grind here, but um, I think this is your best bet. 
at getting any tools or a wrench. Did they not reset? Rest uh, restock day seven. Okay. Um, I guess we just have... Oh, this is a wrench I sold to the trader for one coin. I can't repair the wrench, so I just went ahead and sold it. He just happens to have a gun bunch of gunpowder going again. Okay, so we're going to look up our ammo's weapons here, which I'm already on, and see if there's anything in here we can buy. No melee weapons. That really freaking sucks. Um, 5,875 for 90 steel arrows. Hmm. I don't know. Those are disposable, though, and I could probably find those very easily. 70,000 coins for a sawed-off shotgun? Holy crap, you're trying to gouge me here, Bob. Uh, every time I say Bob, too, my dog looks over at me. His name is Bob Barker, so he's kind of he's kind of freaking out right now. Okay, well, I guess we got uh, button hooked by the trader here, um, but I'm sure glad we slapped those boxes because we got a good deal out of them. Uh, now, I do think we actually have enough stuff hanging around uh, to make ourselves a mining helmet here. We have a flashlight. We got electri oh, electrical parts. I sold them to the trader. That's okay. Uh, and scrap plastics. We can go and get those two things. That totally skipped my mind. Uh, shoot. Okay, do you have any on you? Electrical parts. He definitely does not. That really sucks. And I don't have a wrench now to take care of. <gasps> if I can crouch one space. <gasps> you know what, guys? I've always been super curious. There is a con chest back there, and I wonder if that safe is unlocked. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to break into uh, Trader Bob's place here. See if I can see if I can crouch jump. Oh, look at this. Whoops. Oh, I'm in the building. Ha! Ah, Trader Bob, I'm behind you. <laughs> Hi there. Can I help you? That's right, Trader Bob. I just mocked you. Uh, let's see what this bookcase has. That is so cool. I don't know why it's cool. I've just never been able to get behind the trader. So I'm going to go ahead and loot that. Oh, it's locked. Son of a bitch. I will break you open with my... It's flashlight. Because <laughs> the flashlight will not break. So I can sit here for five hours breaking this thing open. Uh, I'm only doing one damage at a time. So I'd have to hit it 2,500 times. That is incredibly funny. But yay, stuff I can't do in vanilla that I can do on here. Uh, let's go ahead. You know what? We're going to we're gonna kill him before... Oh, you can't loot the traders. Never mind. We won't... We won't... I was able to move him though. Oh my god. Okay. We're going to have to fuck with the trader here, guys, before we leave the leave this city. Because I don't think we'll be coming back. Um, what I'll do is I'll clear this out. And then we'll push Trader Bob down the street or something. And offer him as a sacrifice to the zombies. I think that would be a ton of fun. Uh, but I'm just looking at the time here, guys. Unfortunately, I have ran out of time for today's episode. Um, I'm absolutely having a blast with this mod. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, there's that sexy, sexy forge. There you are. I'm going to close these doors just so it doesn't get fucked up. Whoa, okay, that was a little weird. Okay, so I'm going to run home here, uh, drop off whatever we got, and for the next episode, we'll be doing what we usually do, and that's uh, trying to loot the world. <laughs> See you guys later. As always, stay classy, back up those game saves, and remember, keep the human population down, wear a condom. Peace out. Have a good one, guys.